Hey everybody, welcome to Grace Shot Down. I am Andrew. I wanted to put together this quick little video to discuss my thoughts on the recent allegations that have come out for Tesla about full self-driving and about the efforts for them to unionize at the New York plant. Look, I just wanted to say about the union efforts. I've posted a description in the chat uh, for Tesla's responses to that. I honestly think that they're a great company. They've always taken care of me. They've always taken care of the cars, post delivery experience, as well as even being post outside of warranty and things like that. Let's be really honest and, and call a spade a spade. Uh, as far as the allegations for full self-driving are concerned, I just wanted to put that out there in the open that I have had full self-driving since the 10.2 release and since the safety score people had 100, I was one of the 1200 people that got it. I've had it since October 11th of 2021. And honestly, in that day when I first got it, it blew my mind. The first time it made a right-hand turn outside my house, it was just incredible. Uh, look, I can say that it has improved since then, and since honestly this 1069.25.2 release that we've all received, 97% of my drives have just been intervention free, disengagement free, and just been, honestly, just been mind blowing. We've all been waiting for version 11 to come out, and we think that it's gonna be great in the coming days, but this NHTSA thing and saying that we need to uh, think of recalls and call software updates or over the air updates recalls. I mean, honest to God, I don't call my iPhone updates recalls. Uh, whatever. Those are my thoughts. I uh, I hope for the best. I'll post this video to YouTube and uh, Twitter. Uh, those are the two places that uh, I, I tend to post great shutdown stuff. So if this video appeals to you, like, comment, subscribe, keep the, keep the dialogue going. I hope to hear from you soon. Once again, this is Gray Shot Down. <laughs>